Lush Addicts, I hope you're all very, very well. I need to apologize to you all because I am super late with my annual Christmas Lush video this year. I've just been super busy. Usually I've done this video around a month or so ago, but it is December, it is Christmas. I have boxes of Lush products to show you. So grab a cuppa, get cozy and Let's unbox the Christmas range. Wanna hang out with my friends and family. Naked angels in the sand you had me. Doesn't matter, it's Christmas in my heart. Honestly, guys, I'm not lying. I have two massive box falls to show you. And because I have the Christmas tree up, I'm gonna do it in front of the Christmas tree this year, which I've never ever done before, but I am gonna switch to my other camera, so I'm gonna make that switch now. Let's be honest, all of these Christmas products are gonna be for myself because I am the biggest Lush addict on YouTube, I must say. But before um, I get unboxing, I'm actually gonna quickly show you this really Christmassy gift that I picked up from Harry's for Joe. I don't know about you, but I never know what to buy my uh, the half. I never know what to get Joe. He has everything. And I just think getting more boxes, more socks is a little bit boring. And I just know for a fact that he is gonna use this gift set. The gift set I have here is the Winston set. Now you can get these gift sets as low as £19 with free delivery. It's super cheap. This year, I'm not going all out on Christmas presents because, I mean, this year has sucked a little. However, Good quality affordable gifts is definitely the 2020 way forward. So inside, I also love the fact that the um, box is also recyclable. You are greeted with Christmas goodies. So I'm gonna start with the, the biggie here. So this is the Harry's shaver. Now you can get these engraved and this has the limited edition Winston handle we also do have some shave gel here with aloe now aloe is super soothing for the skin joe sometimes gets a bit irritable so the aloe will work perfectly for him and i also think that this will be very nice under the arms on my legs <laughs> you guys know i'm gonna definitely steal this aren't i it also comes with some shaving heads as well and we've also got a protector head as well. I think Joe's also going to like this gift as well as because the razor refills only start from £1.75. So they're super, super cheap, affordable, but really good quality at the same time. These have been selling out super quickly. I think they've sold out like twice. So definitely get yours ASAP. Link is down in the description for you guys to enjoy. Now that Joe is all sorted, let's get into the Lush stuff. I think I'm gonna start with the smallest box first. Is it even Christmas without a Lush bath bomb? I think not. I love this part because it's like a massive lucky dip. We are starting on a high because we have our first Snow Fairy product. So this is the Snow Fairy Wonder Ball. Now this reminds me of I don't know, like a perfume pot for some reason. Anyway, the Snow Fairy scent is dreamy. Think of like pink, almost a little bit like Candy Floss. It smells a bit like Candy Floss to me. However, inside we have magical dust. So what I would do, I would use the dust first, sprinkle it in the bath and enjoy the aromas. And then I would probably use the head for another bath and then the shell for a a third bath maybe. We have something by Celebrate next. So this is the Celebrate Body Spray. Now this is fruity orange, it's zingy, and it just is the nicest, fruity, zestiest Christmas smell ever. Like a Bucks Fizz. Oh my God, exactly like a Bucks Fizz. Oh my goodness. I am so happy to see this. So we have the very popular Yognog, but it's a body milk. This is like wrapping your skin in like Christmas baking. Honestly, the scent of this is just yummy. So a little goes a very long way with this one. It is quite strong, 
but it will sink into the skin super efficiently. This is remarkable, oh my God. This is a very exciting bath bomb. Here we have Dreaming Snowman. I love this one because it smells just like lavender. It's just super relaxing. Now with this one, as you can see, there's a rainbow. So when you pop it in the bath, you can literally see a rainbow in your bath. Next, we have Holly Galite Wonder Ball. Now this looks very similar to the Snow Fairy one. Now this one, you can really smell the lemongrass. It's very similar to Dragon's Egg. We have another spray and we've got Snow Fairy. Oh my goodness. This is like the perfect body spray to pop on once you've had like a snow fairy bath bomb, bubble bath or shower gel and to really lock in that scent, shove this on your body. We have Santa's belly here and this is the shower jelly. Now this is made out of agar agar which is super nourishing for the skin. Oh, it does smell really grapey. I like the scent. And just look at it. You have a little Santa's belly. We have something quite big here. Now this is the orange shower scrub. I have been meaning to give this a go for a while. Now this is super zesty and it looks a little bit like a slush puppy. Now what I love about this one in particular is that it's jam packed with vitamin C, which is incredibly brightening for the skin. Now this shower scrub in particular is amazing at getting rid of dead skin and also leftover fake tan. It's very, very good at removing that. We have Angel's Delight next. Now, does it smell like the soap? Oh my goodness, I swear that there was a soap called Angel's Delight a few years ago. You know, like a little drumstick? It smells just like that. We have another black pot here. So here we have Once Upon a Time Body Lotion. So this has lime and Sicilian lemon inside. The range so far is actually quite zesty, which I like. Oh my God, <laughs> it's bright green. It's also got apple infusion and also almond, which helps to like kind of dull down that citrus kind of twangy scent. I think we have a Snow Fairy Glow Stick next. I have never tried this before. Oh my God, just look at her. This will look phenomenal up the legs, on your collarbone, on your face, on your cheekbones. Oh my goodness. Not gonna lie, but it looks a little bit like a tampon. I am so flipping happy that this is in here. If this was ever cancelled from the Lush Christmas range, I would cry. We have Shoot for the Stars, everyone. Mm, this is the most dreamy scent ever. It smells very similar to Honey Bee. It's the perfect bath bomb to get if you just don't know what to get someone. This is a fun, fun bath bomb. It goes all different colours and it smells bloody dreamy. We have another pot and we do have Snow Fairy body conditioner. So a body conditioner is like a conditioner, like a body lotion that you apply in the bath and you kind of like gently rinse off. So if you can't be bothered to moisturize after the bath, this is the thing you need to get because you don't need to moisturize after. Oh, this is a brand new bath bomb that I haven't seen before, but it's called Winter's Garden. So you do have some petals on the front here. Now this really does smell like marigold. Yeah, it smells like marigold flowers. It kind of has like a licorice kind of vibe to me. Until the internet invents smelly vision, I'm just gonna like describe these products to what I think they smell like. We have Polar Bear Plunge next. So this is a minty bubble bar. So all you need to do is tear a bit off, crumble it into the bath and watch the bubble glazes grow. Whilst we are on the topic of bears, Butter Bear has made a comeback and he looks better than ever. In previous years, he did look a little bit naff compared to this. This is a buttery scent. It's got sheer butter inside, so very gentle and nourishing on the skin. I would recommend 
these two if you just don't know what to get someone. I think we are one box down. Now onto the big one. It's so big and it's so heavy. We have Jingle Bells Bath Bomb next. I really like this one. It's got a really pretty bow on the front. Now this one smells like orange and patchouli together and it smells just like the Dorothy Bubble Bar. Does anyone remember Dorothy? Oh my God, it smells just like that. I reckon there's some bath salts inside. This one's really exciting. I feel shower gel and it's snow fairy. Oh my goodness, like if I did not get snow fairy every single year, I'd be gutted. This is just an absolute staple for me every single year. I really hope Rose Jam is in here as well. Oh, we have Shampoo Bar here, and this, I believe, is the Snow Fairy one. With these solid hair shampoos, you can get around 100 washes out of them. They're really, really good for on the go, and I'll say this now, Lush shower, no, Lush hair products are actually really good. When I was using Rehab for a very long time, my hair got into really good condition. Oh, it wouldn't be Christmas without a lip scrub, would it? Here they have the candy cane one. Now this I expect to smell and taste minty. It does smell minty, actually it smells really, really minty. Now this is really good at getting off the dead skin from your lips and it also leads to jojoba oil on the lips so it's very nourishing as well. Oh, this looks really interesting. So we have another polar bear here but he is a soap this year. Now this one has coconut inside but in my own opinion, it doesn't really smell coconutty. It actually smells quite pepperminty. We have another bottle and we have a big yognog. Oh my goodness, this smells like an absolute dream. Like I said earlier, it smells just like Christmas baking. My sister's boyfriend absolutely loves the shower gel. I actually bought a large one for him um, for Christmas. Um, so this is kind of sweet and spicy, um, but it just... Honestly, if you just think of a kitchen cooking shortbread, cupcakes and all that, that's the smell you've got. It smells too damn good. We have Luxury Lush Pudding. Now, this is, this is the test. What does it smell like this year? Oh my gosh! It doesn't smell like Snow Fairy and it doesn't smell like Twilight. No wait, last year it smelled like the Comforter, didn't it? Not, not Snow Fairy. Anyway, this one smells quite black y So it does smell a little bit like the Comforter. I really enjoyed it when Luxury Lush Pudding smelled just like Twilight. We have soap next. Is this Snow Go? Oh, it's Snow Cake, yes. This looks a little bit like Snow Globe from a few years ago. Now this one smells just like marzipan. The smell of this one hasn't changed for years because it's very, very popular. It's also very buttery and very nourishing for the skin. Bush Noel is here. Oh my goodness. I remember for a few years they didn't do Bush Noel, but it's here. So inside this one, it has ground almonds, cranberries, and it's also got, yeah, I thought it, a touch of brandy. Now this is a fresh cleanser so all you need to do is grab a little ball size like a pea size add in a bit of water and then you just use it as a cleanser we have a shower bomb next now for a while well when i first started i think there was one shower bomb available then they got rid of them but they have started to bring them back now this one is called sugar plum now this one does smell ironically quite plumbing, but you can actually love them against your body and they do go quite foamy. Hopefully we've got Rudolph's nose this year. Another bath bomb. I think this is the Snow Fairy one. It is indeed Snow Fairy. So if you want to give someone like a bundle of Snow Fairy, definitely get the shower gel, definitely get the bath bomb, whack in a body spray and they'll be good to go. Oh, this is new. Frankupani Solid Perfume. I can never say this correctly, so I've probably completely butchered the name. Anyway, scent. That is a strong, strong scent. You only need a small amount. My goodness, this will last absolute ages. Here we go. So we have some of the sticks here. This is a lip 
lipstick. Now this is quite interesting. It's a gorgeous kind of nudie color. All you need to do is literally pop it into the little casing. First of all, you do need to like unpeel it just like a baby bell. So this color is definitely more of like a spiced kind of almost a pumpkin color I would put it. It does have a nice glitzy um, shimmer to it and the pigment is absolutely bloody amazing. Candy Cade has made a appearance again. Now this is a reusable bubble bar. Now the scent of this one this year, oh, it's zingy. More Snow Fairy scented products. Here we have Fairy Dust and this is a dusting powder. This is actually a really good product to use on top of a body lotion or even a massage bar. What it will do, it will just take away that kind of moisturizing kind of feel that, you know, that kind of like buttery feel and make it feel a bit more matte. This is a brand new reusable bubble bar. Now this is called Elfie Stick. This one has vetivert oil inside. It's super nourishing again. The scent isn't too heavy. Mm, just trying to like pinpoint a scent to it. It just smells clean. With Elfie Stick, all you gotta do is tear it off, crumble it in the bath and watch those bubble glazes grow again. Kinky Boots is next. Oh my goodness, I loved this one last year. Again, this is a bubble bar, so all you need to do is tear it off, crumble it in the bath and um, you know what I'm gonna say next. The scent of this one is slightly floral. It does have clary sage inside and you can definitely smell that. Shower gel, oh, I smelt this one in the Lush shop the other day and this is called Roasting Chestnuts on an Open Fire. It's quite strong, very marzipan-y kind of scented, but it's very warming in the shower or in the bath and I think if you really like a festive scent, this is a good one to get. It's got oat milk, chestnut puree, and what else does it have in it? Oh, it's also got clary sage and almond too. Rudolph's nose, we have the other shower bomb. We definitely got this last year. I actually prefer the scent of this one. It smells like cherry, it's got almond inside. It's basically like a cherry bakewell. We have TikTok here. Now he is a little robot. Now he looks like he smells really orangey and he sure does. He smells just like sweet orange oil. Now this one's quite exciting. It does have like a nice glittery kind of luster outside as well. And it's got pocket and candy inside. This is a really good one for kids. I think it's really fun. Mm, just smells like really good. We have another fresh um, solid perfume and this is called Fresh As. Does it smell like dirty? Oh my God. It smells a little bit like a Christmas tree. Am I just completely imagining that? I think it is, you know. Oh my goodness actually smell like a Christmas tree. Oh, I like that one. Golden Wonder, of course, has made a comeback. Again, this is a classic. Now this one does smell orangey, but not as strong as the robot. Now this one's really exciting. It shakes inside. Now with this one, it goes all different colors. I think it's like green, blue, a bit of gold. And there is um, some little confetti inside. Really good one for kids, that one. Next up, we have a soap and it's Shooting Stars. Now, this one smells again like drumsticks. You know, the candy? It's always been my favorite. And then finally, we have got our last lip product. So this is called Midnight Lipstick and it's a gorgeous purpley plum shade. This is a showstopper, this color. It's beautiful. Now that is everything. That was a big, big haul. I love doing this video every single year. It would not feel like Christmas without doing this video. Let me know your favorites down below. I just think next year they need to change luxury lush pudding back to the twilight scent. Apart from that, Everything is gorgeous this year. Which one was your favorite? What did you like the look of? Please drop me a comment down below and let me know. Don't forget you can also shop Harry's and gift sets. Now these are super affordable. They start from 19 pounds with 
free delivery. So I've left a link to that down in the description. But as always guys, please make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video.